welcome back in today's video I'm gonna do for you JLo inspire makeup look which is that look very glowy skin with shimmery bronzy eyes and if you're interested please keep on watching and also please hit the subscribe button and leave me a comment follow me on my social media which my Facebook my Instagram and Twitter everything is gonna be in the description box and I see you guys in my next video so let's get to in video I just pin back a little bit of my hair okay so far I'm using this one which was in the morning after my skincare routine by Terry Seller Rose and then now I'm going with the primer as I said in the first video this JLo look it's very glowy so this is Balance Me instant lift primer just a little bit on my hand And second product I'm using is Wonder Glow by Charlotte Tilbury. I love a JLo Glow. Yeah, who doesn't love? And with flat brush, go all over. This is like a primer. Okay, now into foundation. Other day I was in boots and I just saw Wet n Wild foundation which we don't have in the UK and then I just saw very small small stand that was like few product only so I just grabbed the foundation and I used it one week and I really love it it comes like this no pump Just and then I go with my foundation brush, which is mini real technique. And anywhere I want full coverage, I was just doing dabbing motion. I don't know if I told you guys, I tend to use few shades darker than, not few shades, like two shades darker than my skin tone. And then lighten up with my concealer. Foundation on. Beauty blender to just blend a little bit more and then I go with my concealer this is also new to me this is by flower exclusive to super drug I am still testing it out 
So JLo got very glowy makeup and very highlighted skin, which we're gonna do in this video. Because this one is a little bit yellowy tone in it. I really like my concealer and my, my under eye very bright. I go with my Fit Me Concealer 05 and the other one was number light. I'm going to take my beauty blender and just blend that in. And then I go top of my eyelid as well. Sorry. Where did this come from? I do my base and then I come to my eyes. That's done. And then I'm going with Maybelline Super Steady Stick, which is look like that. And you got a sponge at the other end, but I'm not using it. Just a few lines. If I forgot any brushes, it's gonna be down below. I just list them all like my second video. My temples. to make sure it's all blended. Now, before I go with my powder product, I will, I'm gonna use with Nippon 5 liquid highlighter, which is these two colors, one bronzy and one champagne color. And I just been, uh, mix it together. Just one drop each. You don't need to do that if you prefer use one. Then I go with the flat foundation brush Deep into my highlighter, which when I mix it, it look like that. Just have my dab on my hands to get the excess, and I just go on my high point of complexion. Don't worry, all gonna be blended. So grab the another beauty blender. This is just for my highlighter. And if I need more, I add more, which I never say no to highlighter. I think J-Lo makeup 
any age, like young age, mid age, mature age, can wear because it's glam but nice glam. Okay, the highlights are done. And here I'm going with my powder bronzer, which I'm gonna use by uh, Yves Saint Laurent, but this is medium, which is look like that. And I take my brush, this is Eco Tools, and I start doing back up my everything up. And then to my blush. My blush is by Hourglass Diffuse Heat. And then I go with powder for under my eyes. This powder is by Dior, Dior Skin for Forever, number one. It look like this. For my under eye, don't want to take all the glow just in center of my face and my under eye and a little bit here just dust to take any oil okay we leave the skin here we're moving on to the eyes for eyes I am gonna use Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize Mousse. It look like this. This product is so beautiful and it lasts such a long time. This one is BH Cosmetic. I just roughly go on my eyes. Don't worry if it's messy, we clean it after. And this, any cream product under your powder eyeshadow is helps to last longer. And today I'm gonna work with Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette, which I love. Just look like that. And then I'm gonna use Desert Sand, which is that one, Mask, and then Cashmere here. A little bit of oil. Okay, I just took my blending brush, MAC 224. I go first with the lighter shade, just to my socket. Not too much, just a little bit. Okay. 
and then with a flat brush which is real techniques medium shadow brush you got that and then I'm going to my cashmere color and then up the excess And just play that one top, top of the cream shadow. Just push the product in the eyelid. The eye look is like bronzy, browny color. Also, you can use this eyeshadow wet if you want to more color pay off and then again with the blending brush I go to the edges my eyebrows is in very bad stage because I won't grow I know it's very full because I want to change the shape so I know it's not the best eyebrow look okay that's that and then with like another flat brush I'm going to the Desert Sun, which was dark, a lighter one, just for highlighted brow bone. And then we take the small brush, I'm going to the dark brown, oat going for uh, going to under my eyes I, as you can see I take the product little and then if I need more I add more For my top of eye, top of the lash line, I'm gonna use Bobbi Brown Gel Eyeliner, which is that one, and I take the eyeliner brush. Just to the lash line don't worry if it's not neat because you're gonna smudge them out that's such a good eyeliner I think that's one of the best Bobby Brown product And then we take same brush for under eye which is like very very small brush and start to smudge it out and for my tight line I'm gonna use brown always JLo using brown tight line and my brown eyeliner is by Maybelline 
zero two brown. This is also a good eyeliner. I just clean my brush, same brush for my lash line. Then Then to my eyebrows, just brush them up with a spoolie. And then with angle brush, I just fill the gap, not too much. Brow pomade, mid brown, number 20 by Isla. Some people love to do the eyebrow first, I do sometimes. Sometimes I do my eyes first and then my face. It's not any rules in makeup, do whatever you like to. Okay, that's enough. And then I take my brow gel, which is by L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. Not too much, just a little bit to set my eyebrows. Right. And then for my mascara, I'm using Unlimited Mascara by L'Oreal Paris. I discovered this mascara a few months back and I love it. Because I'm going to use a strip lashes I'm not wear too much mascara and then with few individual one in center of the eyelashes because Jayla always got like wispy in the middle her eyes See, I didn't dip even once again to my mascara. Okay, now to the eyelashes. I don't have the box of these lashes I'm gonna use today, but, but it's by Isla Floor de Force lashes and it's like half an eye and it's called flare love but next time i will keep the box to show you guys so i grab my tweezers i grab my lashes just show you how it look like does it look like this and then I'm going with my glue, which is dew. Just put a little bit back of my hand. Dip the lashes in. I'm sure you all can do the strip lashes. So it's nothing new. Everybody saw how to do it and it's nothing new here, but I do it anyway for the people don't know how. So we'll 
leave them to glue became a little bit tacky otherwise it's just gonna slide and it's not easy to apply just wait a few seconds Then you can do some dance until you get tacky okay now it's a bit tacky just place it where you want like that and tuck the side in lashes on now we're going for few individual one I'm using medium so it look like that for just center of my eyes a little bit glue back of my hand Okay, we just let them to this individual lashes get dry and then I'm back to my skin and now I'm gonna use Bobbi Brown Shimmering Break Compact in shade beige beige like that and then because I didn't done it with with a little bit lip balm not too much just a little bit this is by by Terry Balm de Rose lovely stuff and then I take the clean brush and go over everything to blend And this time I'm going with Bobbi Brown mascara because the L'Oreal one is too heavy. I don't want these lashes already is a bit heavy. Point 
on my lip I'm going with lip pencil stripped down by MAC my favorite and Jayla does overline her lips and she always not always, but most of the time wearing nude lipstick, which I love it too. I do that as well. And again, with, in this video, I'm using Honey Love by MAC again. It has this perfect shade. And then I'm going in center of my lip with the Clarence lip oil. This is just the tester one for my makeup bag. I'm just going to center of my lip. So guys, this is the look. I hope you enjoy. very simple wearable bronzy glowy jailer look mm -hmm. 